she's a grown lady now. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Yes. And they have a uh, they're growing up with any water. Praise the Lord, somebody. Yes. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, the chance has been given to me by God Himself uh, to edify, edify you today. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, the title of this message is Choose to Walk in Forgiveness. Praise the Lord. Forgiveness is very important. Condition. Hallelujah. Because I've been praying, I say, God Almighty, please, this is the third Sunday of this year, 2022. Give me a message. The Spirit of the Lord is right to me to talk to you and myself about forgiveness today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Forgiveness. Who front? Uh, in this reading we have read here, says David came to the hundreds men who were so exhausted. They were so exhausted. The way exhausted means something went wrong. That's why they become so exhausted. That they could not follow him and had been left at the group. That's all. With the provisions. And then they went out to meet David. And the people were seen and went and approached the people. And he greeted them. Then all the wicked and worthless men among those who went with David say, Because they did not go with you or with us, we will give them none of the spoils that we have. Except that each man may take his wife and the children away and leave. Then we say, You must not do so, my brothers, with what the Lord has given us. He has kept us safe and has handed over to us the men of Amalekite that came against us. And who will listen to you regarding this matter? For as is the share of him who goes down into the battle, so shall he share he who stay by the provision and supply they shall sell the land. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then they had a problem in his camp. Some bad guys, Amalekai, came into their camp while they were gone doing what God told them to do. Praise the Lord. Those men, guys, came to the camp and took everything from them, including their children and their wives. So David was about to be stoned by his own people. Sometimes your people, once they get mad against you, they might end up to stone you. That was the case of David. David said, what did I do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. But they want to stone him. They didn't have to move the hagel. Now, back in the days, if he did something wrong, the only solution he did is to stone him to death. That is the way they, they, they used to do. So David went and seek the face of the Lord. You are sitting here today if you know you didn't do anything wrong and the enemy wants to stone you. You better go and seek the face of the Lord. Amen. Faith is worth the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's the only way. Yes. Seek the face of the Lord. That's what David did. David said, let me seek the face of the Lord. And when David seek the face of the Lord, brothers and sisters, God answer him correctly. God said, David, it's not right. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is telling you tonight, it's not right. Hallelujah, somebody. Are you going to be right right now? The book is not being answered. I'm going to be correct. That can't happen even me. God is not crying. The Bible says you cry all night by joy comes in the morning. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. Joy comes in the morning. As you ask me to follow those bad guys, I'm like, I, I have granted you to go. Praise the Lord. I have given you green light to go and go after those bad guys. Go and recover everything that they have taken from you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything that enemy has been stolen from you this year or last year, it will be who's back in the name of Jesus. Now David said, when God, once God gave me authority, I will go after those guys. They went and they took everything that was 
put him for death, and they brought him back. They defeated the enemy. They came back into the camp. And in that camp, there's some folks that don't want to go with them. They think like, no, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do there. The enemy is so dangerous. The enemy is so tough. Sometimes we have to get out of our comfort zone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Your comfort zone is no way you supposed to. You have to get out and go after the enemy. Okay. And go and recover everything that the enemy has done for you. Yes, Praise the Lord. David said, No, I'm going after the enemy. My God has given me possession, given me green light to go. Amen. You know, when I was in the army, once your commander gave you green light to go and shoot, you go and shoot. Praise the Lord. Amen. God has given you. You are sitting here today, God has given you authority yes. and power yes. to go and recover what devil has stolen from you. But right. you're sitting here, your soul is scared. I want to encourage you today. Get out of your comfort zone. Amen. Mama Agnes, get out of your comfort zone. Amen. Go and recover what enemy is stolen from you. Yes. This is what you're to do. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Venus, Kaslahi, they are so scared, they are so worried, they don't want to go with you. Go and bring those things and forgive them and share with them. Yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Share with them. They spoil. Yes. Say you didn't go with me, but I want myself to recover everything by the grace of God. Now I will share it with you. Yes. Yes. But I get it, one because you know, I want myself to go. Well, who cares? You get it. That's what I ask. Hallelujah. You are all going to do that. This is very moving history. Then you refuse to pay evil with evil. You see here today, refuse to pay evil with evil. Praise the Lord. Amen. Evil with evil is not going to work. Refuse to do that. That's so not every fool is there. He forgives and distributes the spoil equally to everyone. Whether you went with him or not, he distributes it equally to everyone. She will come, come, come. She will be done. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Take it. It's not a problem. Because the spoil is not going to. Mess up our friends or our families. Hallelujah. We are still family. You didn't go, it's a your one, but take it. Finance yes. there, you will go and fight to bring goods in your community, to bring goods in your family, fighting for prosperity. Some of them are still sweet. But once you brought those stuff already, when we get the car, then they can't ride the machine. They get the but David didn't do that. This man had wanted to stone him earlier. Those who now they need that spoil to share, to be shared together. They didn't go, they won't just stone him earlier. They say, No, you are not a good leader. Why, why, why all this happen? Those people are in your life, in your life. They complain, they whine it every day. They even want to destroy you, kill you. But guess what? Your God is going to back you like never before. Hallelujah. Your God is going to back you like never before. Amen. Amen. They want to stone you and, 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 and he encouraged himself in the Lord. You have to encourage yourself in the Lord. Always. There we will get the strength. To chase the enemy, praise the Lord. Amen. The men did not join him and they chased. They didn't join him. But when God gave him victory, mm. he still taught to share the spoil with them. Amen. You always have to think about sharing anything with somebody, praise the Lord. Amen. Because giving is better than receiving. Hallelujah, somebody. Right. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is the sky to consistently winning. With God. Let's take up the kiss. Amen. Praise the Lord. Your papa? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise God, somebody. Amen. Amen. The man didn't go with him, but he, he, he had a victory now that one thing to share with. That is a is kind to consistent winning with God. Once you stick with God, brothers and sisters, you will continuously keep winning in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. You must forgive offenses. You must forgive offenses. Praise the Lord. Amen. You must forgive offenses. He did not commit. I mean, he didn't do anything wrong. He encouraged himself in the Lord and mastered the strength to chase the enemy. He chased the enemy. 
That is the key of consistency when with God. You must forgive offenses as quickly as possible. Praise the Lord. And move on this day in the will and bless of God for your life forever. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Mark 11, 25, 26, listen to this carefully. Whenever you stand to pray, tell your neighbor, wherever you stand to pray, forgive if, forgive you have anything against anyone, so that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive you. Praise the Lord. You are transgression. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father who is in heaven forgive your transgression. Brothers and sisters, we're sitting here today. If you have anything with somebody last year, and we have entered this year for a year, tell us about that again. They have done wrong to you. They did wrong to you with your family, with your kids. They messed up your stuff. Please, I'm asking you, begging you, Mr. Pastor, forgive them. Hallelujah. Amen. Forgive them because God says, if you forgive them, your heavenly Father will forgive you as well. Praise the Lord. Amen. And if you don't forgive them, Father in heaven is not going to forgive you. I know it is painful. It is not easy for you to let it go. But you have to let it go as the daughter of Moses Iba and the son of Moses Iba. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let it go. Can you see? After they will be done. Do not know somebody in your head yes. without paying rent. Yes. Let it go. 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 Why are you bothering your spirit? It's not of sickness. It's not of blood pressure. Let it go. In the name of Jesus. God will fight a battle for you. God will fight a battle for you in the name of Jesus Christ. It won't be easy to practice forgiveness, brothers and sisters. It's not easy to practice forgiveness. Especially when we consider the scale of the offenses they did for us. However, if we are going to stay in the will of God, if we are going to stay in the will of God and manifest the will of God, His blessing for our lives, we must embrace forgiveness, praise the Lord. Amen. Embrace forgiveness for them forever. Amen. Say, I forgive them. Amen. Jesus is cross, say, I, Baba, Father, forgive them because I don't know what they're doing. Yes. If they would have known what they're doing, they would never do what they're doing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let it go, forgive them. Yes. Forgive them. Yes. For our church to go forward, forgive them. Amen. For your family to go forward, forgive them. Amen. For your community to go forward, forgive them. Amen. For your country to go forward, forgive them in the name of Jesus. Come looking for you. Those who are partnering you, they say you are 
in the name of Jesus. You will be the supplier. Yes. You will be the giver, not the receiver. Yes. Praise the Lord, somebody. Yes. This year is not going to be a year. Live in it. Yes. Bible says, live in a city, you never see them anymore. No more. Never allow other people to misplace you. Mm. It stays still. Stay still. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, this is my territory. Yes, I'm not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. I'm unshakable. Mm -hmm. Come and try me. You will shake me with my own unshakable. Hallelujah. I'll be here, left and right, cutting left and right, left and right, cutting every nonsense, nonsensical from my life, left and right. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Yes. This is the Bible said the fight will never get it. Yes. Stood there, don't get them out. Put his two feet right there. I'll give them a shaman of a cutter. I'll give them a yamino of a cutter. I'll give them a yahoo of a cutter. I'll give them a kidam of a cutter. The enemy is cutting. That's right. Your enemy will discover this. I say your enemy will discover this. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to say something very important. Amen. And forgiveness is like drinking poison yourself and waiting for other person to die. Hey. You hear that? I hear. And forgiveness is like a poison. You drink yourself and you waiting for someone to die. You will die. Mm. Never bring that thing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Never bring that. Let it go. Amen. Tell your never let it go. Let it go. I cannot bring a poison and wait for someone to die. That poison is happening to fight and you hear die. Yes. That is not going to be a poison. This is the deal. Never bring the poison in which you wait for someone to die and he's not dying. Mm. And you are dying. Something's ambition we have. Yeah. Uh huh. I should have seen me that I don't know that I should have seen. Yeah. I should have seen me that I don't know what I should have seen. I don't know what I should have seen. Yeah. Because it's a crap around. Yeah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Yeah. Never let it go. Let it go. This year, let it go. I want to see you prosper this year. Amen. Yeah. I want to see you happy this year. Amen. Yeah. I want to see you raise your kids in the way of the Lord. What the Lord will never provide for you. Amen. This year, yeah. we don't want to see our community going down. Yeah. And forgiveness does not. That's. That's more harm to us than offenders. Praise the Lord. It, it does more harm to us than offenders. Those who offend you, it's not doing anything for them, but you yourself. It is like serving a prison term for offense of someone else. You are in prison for offense of someone else. It's not yours. But you find yourself in prison. Prison doesn't mean, doesn't mean anything. You have to stay to see in and see in the agenda. You might be out there, but you are in prison. Yep. Mentally, the spiritual, you have to be in prison. It's a madness here. It's a much to say, can I tell you? It's a eyes for America. So, the eyes for the moon, the other person. Praise the Lord. He's looking cold and shining. You know, I was talking to one of the brothers. He sent me a picture from Benetton and the Harriet and the Mundi. Jay de Gilamo. Who do you guys eat there? Organic. Organic. He could stop it. You have to come and try. Hallelujah. So, I was discussing. Mistakes will be made. Hallelujah. Amen. Mistakes will be made. And we are not perfect. My daughters came to me yesterday at home and I told them this. Say, if you ask me that, Malaysia, you are a good husband. I said, I'm not a perfect husband. Praise the Lord. I'm not a perfect husband. I'm pushing for perfection. Praise the Lord. Amen. By the grace of God, I'm not a perfect husband. I'm not a perfect husband. I give Rabbi. Yeah. We are spreading each other. Guys, 
Ayo Shabbat Ayo Ayo Praise the Lord. Hadid, we sing in Hadid. And I'm about to sing in the Hosin, tell the Kalapo Sarabah, we sing in Hadid. What was that? We sing in Hadid. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 We have to hold each other together. We have to support each other, pray for each other, praise the Lord. That's very important. That's very important. Encourage people to practice a verse forgiveness. As they hear progress, the message will be made. An offense will come. But resolving to move on ahead of time will energize you to overcome the urge of fight. Back when these attacks come. Hallelujah. Amen. There's nothing unforgivable, and there are no pain that our God cannot help. Hallelujah. Amen. You to overcome. Amen. We'll overcome this in the name of Jesus. Amen. How to love in a loveless world. It is the same as the Lord. I think the same person in the Maybe you have tried this many, many times. Yes. You don't have nothing against nobody. It has been said, Oh, Muriam, that if you soul, it's that it has no voice over time. It's very painful. It's not easy. It's not easy. You try all your best to be a good person, to be a good woman, good mother, settle it down, go to a camp where you raise your children, better your life. As we prepare to wrap up with these prayers here soon, I would like to challenge you to give you love and love and support. Hallelujah. No matter how irritating people act towards you, choose love. Hell never love. love. Choose love never. Choose love never. I want love to reign this year now. Amen. How do you give love where and when you were given hate? How is that going to be possible? That's one of the most bad. How do you love those who betrayed you? How do you love family members who spread lies about you? How do you love people who are complicity in the death of your loved one? How can you give love there? How are you going to do that? How are you going to love that kind of person? How do you love brothers who sold you into slavery like they like they do? They sold you, your brothers, your sisters. They should have loved you, but they sold you into slavery. They don't care about you. Hallelujah, my man. They sold you. How can you imagine? They sold Rabana the Kelly and the Finis. How do you love someone who walked out of the marriage, leaving you with four children to care for without any assistance? How can you love that person? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sterling o se parece eso. Venga, venga, ya, venga. Ya no más que quiere pasar. Just seek the face of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. God uses what calls Satan 
his madness and attach to establish his glory and bring about his promise. Hallelujah. So, yes, something good will come out of whatever negative situation we find ourselves in. Hallelujah. We may not know how it will happen, we may not see where everything is taking place. We may not even understand the whole mess. We may feel the place of feel like taking a break from our own face. We may feel, we may be, we just want to discontinue, we don't want to continue anymore with this. But one thing is sure, brothers and sisters, something good will come out of the situation today. Amen. That is what the word of God says, and that is what will happen. So look beyond the insult and see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Look beyond the offenses and see the testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Look beyond the miserable situation and see the breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. See the breakthrough today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Look beyond the betrayals and see the blessing of God. God will see everything the enemy intends for evil. To establish his victory in your life today in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord somebody. He will establish his victory in your life. I said this year is going to be a year. This year is going to be a year. Hallelujah. Don't blame yourself. Don't blame yourself. Give yourself a time to him. Hallelujah. Give yourself a time to him. If I forgive with the hurt I feel go away. If I forgive the hurt feeling that I feel, it will go away. And of course it will go away in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. When I say I forgive, it's instant. But the pain I feel will take time to be healed. So when you still feel some pains today, brothers and sisters, even after saying you forgive somebody, don't feel bad about it. Hallelujah. Nothing is wrong with you. Healing is in process, praise the Lord. And in the time it can come to take place, continue to cry out to God. From your heart, you will be healed in the name of Jesus. And strengthened. And you will become better and better person in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is a stand up for God's glory. Praise the Lord, somebody. That is a stand up for God's glory. God has spoken today. Ask for counsel. Just don't, 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 don't blame yourself. Don't blame yourself. Today I declare that you chose to love and forgive no matter what happened. And be willing to forgive yourself and others for any pain they have caused you. Choose to walk in love and let every anger and bitterness go away. It is not easy, brothers and sisters, especially when you consider the scale of the issue and question yourself. However, if God can forgive us of our deepest and darkest sins, we need to forgive others as well in the name of Jesus. Do not forget, we do not forgive because the person involved has repented and apologized. We forgive because God is the only way to set ourselves free from the cage and connect to our blessings. Brothers and sisters, God Almighty has spoken about forgiveness. If you have anybody in your heart that did something very bad for you, and then you, you have that bad feeling, I'm not going to forgive you. So then I believe what I will do. I will meet him in Gravia. I will never see him again in my life. How can I forgive him? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Those feelings are there. Those feelings are there. I used to live in the same kind of situation. But when I study the word of God, it encourages me so much. And help me to let it go. Those who did wrong to me, I don't want to explain it to you. I don't want to detail their name. I don't want to detail whatever they did. But I let it go because I'm a rabbi in the world. 